Hey guys, Mike here. This video is going to be about showing you some of the concrete skills and techniques that I teach in the Concrete Underground. Now the Concrete Underground is my private training area where I teach people who want to learn about concrete, pouring and finishing, just like I do. All kinds of different techniques, finishing skills, stamping, crack repair, all that stuff that I do in my business, I teach you inside the Concrete Underground. So this video is just going to show you a few of the things I do and how I go about teaching it. And let me know down in the comments if there's anything else you guys would like to learn. I want to help you out the best I can. But the link for the Concrete Underground is down below in the description. So you can check that out. If you want to join with, with I got about 100 other people in there already that I'm working with, you know, join and I'll help teach you the best I can all the skills that I have. Thanks, guys back do it again it's it's kind of cloudy today it's about 70 degrees out and cloudy we used a 4,000 psi concrete today with fiber mesh in it and we're going to be cutting some grooves in this and we're going to be edging the board so and we, we can't wait too long to get on it we don't want the concrete to get too hard but it, we got to wait for it to be the right firmness before we start all that stuff if we wait for it to be the right firmness then it all turns out a lot better Hey everybody, Mike here. So we got this patio we're going to stamp and in today's video we're going to talk about when to start stamping. When to start is usually one of the most difficult things to learn. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We just got done pouring this thing. It's about It was about a nine yard pad. We got another little one out front. So it's about 830 right now. We'll just keep track of the time. It's about 80 degrees out today. It's kind of sunny. It's hot and humid. So we'll keep track of the time and, and talk about when to start stamping the concrete. Hey everybody, so we got this uh, wheelchair ramp, landing, and uh, concrete stairs done today. Room finish. I got all the forming, the rebar, the styrofoam the pouring and the finishing to show you guys so stay tuned for that all right so we got this patio just about ready it's all formed up got the styrofoam in it got the rebar in it finishing up just doing some braces on the stairs right now so we're gonna get this poured hopefully tomorrow, 4,000 PSI. It gets two inch bluestone over it. Kind of like, I don't know if you can see that patio up there, but that's got two inch bluestone all over it. So same thing here. So we'll get this all formed up, get it ready to go, get the concrete figured and get it poured tomorrow. All right, so we just got done pouring. You guys washing out. We just got done pouring these concrete stairs with the patio. Just finishing them off now getting it both loaded getting the stairs magged in a little bit better this is all getting covered with two inch bluestone so we just need to pour a base so it's basically just both float mag finish and that's it that's all we got to do to finish it so hey everybody mike here so today on this job i got an 80 by 28 concrete slab i gotta i gotta get formed up for a duplex building so today my job is to get the forms up, get them square, get them set to grade so they can come in and do their plumbing and all that. So that's what I'm going to do today. You can see this is going to be a, a six inch slab and the edges are going to be 12 inches thick. And then they're going to put the two inch styrofoam down then we'll put the wire mesh on that. But right now, right now I just need to get the forms up. So what they came, they came in and they grubbed this out. They got all the, the loom and the topsoil off. And then they brought in a bunch of gravel. I don't know how many yards of gravel they brought in. And, you know, obviously, we got the excavator right here. And we got, I think they got a big roller over here. Bulldozer there with the roller. So they got it all, they got it all nice and level, compacted, and ready for me to put all the forms up. So that's, that's what I got to get done today. All right, so that's it. We got it all formed up, ready to go. Set to grade, square. It's all ready for them to come back and do their plumbing. Lay down their two inches of styrofoam. And then we can put our wire mesh and our rebar in around the edges. And then we'll be ready to pour. So we're hoping to get this done in about a week. 
But that's a wrap on this. Got it all formed up, squared, ready to go. Finished patio, all finished up, match the doors. This is actually gonna be the loading dock. There'll be there'll be some uh, columns coming down on this. It'll be it'll all have a roof. So this is just one of the loading docks here. Alright guys, so I just want to quickly show you how we mag float concrete, and it's really pretty easy. If we have a this is just a simple mag float. It's 16 inches. 16 inches long is pretty typical. It's the one we use the most. So what I do is I just take the mag, you know, I grab it. And then when I, when I go this way, I tip up on the edge a little bit. Okay, I'm putting a little pressure down. And then when I go the other way, I tip it the other way. Okay, I don't want to tip it too high, but just enough so that front edge doesn't dig in. So I mag like that. And you can see how it see the difference in color from where I haven't mag to where I have mag you can see how it works up the cream brings up the paste you can see a little bit of paste right there that's what we're looking to do when we're finishing concrete and as the concrete dries the more it dries the harder it gets the finer that paste gets so then we'll, we'll go from a mag float to a hand trial So this is a reflector floor. We're doing a reflector enhancer epoxy. This is copper and orange gold. This room's about 34 by 32. So we did, we did about 60, 40 copper to orange gold. All right, it's 11.30 now. The garage has been all floated, and I've hit, hit it with laydown blades in the back. And the house is the house is just about done at 11.30. We started power, power trialing it at right around 10 o'clock. You can see this back half starting to shine out already. See that, that's done. And this piece here is just about done. It might get done on this hit. We might have to hit it one more time after this. So, got done pouring at 8 o'clock. And the house just about done power trials by 11.30. It'll definitely be done by 12 o'clock. And then we'll start sawing it. We'll put the contraction joints in it here right off. Alright, so we got this all washed and cleaned off yesterday. Today we're going to put the seal on it. It's about a 2,000 square foot stamp patio. No sealer yet, so we're going to be putting the sealer on here in a minute. Let me show you how we do that. We've got it all sawed. You can see the saw joints right there. Another one over there. So we sawed it up really good to help control cracking. Today we'll get the sealer on it. All right, so here we are on the job. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Uh, concrete's being loaded, it's on the way. And here's our stamp concrete project for today. It's a 28 by 20 patio. So we got it all formed up, we got it squared. We got two inches of styrofoam under this one and we got a matter rebar in it. It's about five inches thick. So what we got coming is we got 4,000 PSI concrete coming with 3.8 stone. And we put some uh, gull gray color in it. And we're going to stamp this a stone texture today. So I'm just going to wait for the concrete to show up.
But as you can see, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of this slab is in the sun still, but there's still some in the shade. And the part that's in the shade is a lot softer than the parts in the sun. So that's going to happen a lot when you stamp concrete. So you just have to kind of work your way towards the shade as close as you can get to it. And then you're going to have to wait until it's ready. You just can't go stamping in the shade part if it's too soft. So that's what we're doing right now is we're working towards the shade. And then when we get to that line, that, that line where the sun is beating off the roof, we're going to have to stop and wait for a while. It's just the way it goes sometimes. If it was all in the sun, you know, we'd be able to go right through this thing and get it done, but not today. Okay, it's now 12 o'clock. It's noon time. Do you remember he got on this started power trowel at about 11 o'clock? This is the fourth time. He's gone over it, and it's just about done. It's what we call right over here, we call that kind of blackened, shining out. That's done. So he's got just a couple other areas he might have to hit again for a fifth time real quick, but it's pretty much done. So we got done, remember, we got done pouring the slab at 8.30. We started finishing right around 10.30 by hand a little bit. Got this broom finish thing done. And we didn't put the power trial on it till about 11 o'clock. And at 12 o'clock, in one hour, it's all done. It's all power trial. So it dries. Once it starts drying, it goes really fast. So you really got to know what you're doing. You got to be prepared. That's where experience comes in. But hopefully this video will help you out a little bit with the timing. Teach you a little bit about how fast this stuff dries. When to start. And uh, that's it, guys. All right, so it's 12.40. If you remember, we started power trialing at 11 o'clock. We got done pouring the concrete at 8.30. So about four hours later here, we're sawing it. That's how fast this stuff dries in the summer. So, you know, if you're thinking of doing this yourself, you gotta really be prepared, you gotta know what you're doing. And we always saw our expansion joints in the same day. That's why we got that saw. That's a special saw for doing it green. You can saw them in the next day, you know, I'd do it early the next morning if I was sawing them the next day, but we have that soft cut saw we do. We saw them in the same day, that's why we have the saw. But it's hard enough to saw. You can see we got all the forms stripped off already. This has styrofoam all the way around it and under it. So by the time, from the time we got done pouring, 8.30 until we're cutting and sawing, it, it was only about four hours. That's how fast this stuff dries. Alright guys, so those are just some of the techniques and skills I'll be teaching you in the concrete underground from pouring concrete, floors and slabs and patios and decks to, to broom finishes, to stamping concrete, all kinds of decorative stuff. You know, concrete repair, we do a lot of that. We do a lot of forming slabs like this. Um, pool decks, that, that's type of trainings in there. So whatever you want to learn about, it'll be in the concrete underground. And if it's not, I'm adding new trainings every month. You know, and some of those you can just say, hey Mike, you know, do you do you know how to do this? Do you do this type of thing? Can you add a training for it? I'm, I'm willing to help you guys out as much as I can. That's why I made the concrete underground is to help teach you guys the same type of concrete skills that I have. So again, guys, check that out. The link for it's down below. Come join a bunch of other people in the community. I'm in there. You get access to me in there as your mentor, as your coach to help answer your questions. Um, it's the place to be if you want to learn how to do concrete right from your own house, right from your own computer. And I'll help you out the best I can, guys. Thanks a lot.